Hey everyone, this is Randolph. We're here with Matthias and Oscari from Remedy. We're in Tokyo for TGS and we're chatting about Alan Wake. Now, everything we've seen so far of Alan Wake has, has it that Alan is a friend of the light. But in the demo you just showed us, he's trying to run away from it. Can you tell us what you just did? Well, this is really the exception that proves the rule and makes the rule. I mean, uh, we turned the tables on, on, on Alan, uh, a crazy FBI agent, Agent Nightingale, is convinced that uh, Wake is behind everything that's gone wrong in Bright Falls and is determined to stop Wake at all costs, even by shooting him down. So in this scene, Wake is a fugitive, desperately trying to find his missing wife and escaping the local deputies. Yes, yeah, so, uh, or as you mentioned, before Light has been his friend, his ally, his only ally, and now it too becomes his enemy. Um, it's an exception that makes a rule, so in Alan Wake, darkness becomes the thing to avoid because darkness equals terror and danger. But the dark presence is still after Wake, and it's his biggest threat by far. And here we've had a light source of any kind, um, so he's as vulnerable as hell really right now. And once again, ended on a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, for us, it's um, cliffhangers are a natural part of, part of the pacing of the story. And, and we really look towards uh, TV series pacing. So then the end of one episode and the beginning of the next are key to, to kind of uh, how we set those up. And once again, we leave Alan in a desperate situation uh, where there's apparently no way out. And um, yeah, it's yeah. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everything we have seen so far of Alan Wake has taken place at night, but there are actually going to be some daytime levels as well. Is that right? Yeah, of course. I mean, for us, I mean, it's a matter of pacing, uh, and and some of, some of, some of these um, nighttime sequences can be quite intense, and we want to make sure that there's a, there's a good flow uh, flow to the story, and we want to really introduce Bright Falls as a as an all American idyllic small town with deep dark secrets underneath, and that's best done during game uh, daytime gameplay. Yeah, so during the daytime, you can meet the quirky locals, you get some NPC interaction, um, you get to learn their motives and nuances um, that make them more than cardboard cutouts and make them real characters and have important roles uh, in, in, in the story in Alan Wake. So what's the split going to be between nighttime and daytime levels? Um, it, the majority of the uh, majority of the game will take will will take uh, place during during the nighttime. Uh, it is, after all, a psychological action thriller. Uh, but we, we do have um, it's hard to say a percentage wise, but a majority of, of, of the game will be during uh, dark uh, darkness. Okay, and I, and I think just to end on 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 that note, so even during the daytime, a dark place can be dangerous. Alan Wake is a psychological action thriller, and it's coming out in spring 2010.